it's time to get started with our very first project. So what we want to do is head on over probably to your desktop. That's where I'm going anyway. And that's usually where I work from when I'm creating projects. And then I even, you know, I'll store off old projects that I'm not currently working on, but active projects I always keep on my desktop. But the one important thing is we don't just place HTML files all willy nilly wherever we want. We want to create a new folder for every project we're working on. So I'm just going to right click right here and I'm going to go over to new and I'm just going to choose folder right there. And then I'm going to call this one my first project just like that. And that's where we're going to be working from. And very importantly, this is called a root folder. So every project you have, we have a root folder or like a main folder for that project. So you'll often hear people say either your main folder, your projects folder, or often your root directory, which this would be the root directory where all of your, your things are living inside of. And so with our folder created on our desktop, what we wanna do now is open things up in VS Code so we can actually start working. And so here is, I've opened up VS Code and I'm ready to go. And a lot of people, they just wanna jump in and click like new file or something like that, but we don't wanna do that. Uh, you can either go to the open folder that you have right here, or maybe you closed your welcome screen or something like that. So you can come over to here. And this is how I usually do things is I go to my file or open folder and that opens up our open folder window that's right here. And I can just find my first project and then click on the select folder that pops up and that will open that folder directly inside of VS Code. Now there's a lot of benefits to doing this. First of all, it makes it a lot easier to add new files uh, into our project as we're going. It also just makes it a lot easier to be organized as a project grows. We'll see everything in this one place instead of having to open up our folder or work directly from the folder, we can just do everything directly in this one window. And also it opens up search features and other things. So you can jump between files really easily, or if you're looking for something and you forgot what file it's in, you can do searches that go through all of your files. And that just makes life a lot easier, especially as our projects get much bigger when you get into more advanced things. Now we're starting off a new project and we need some files to work from. And we have this nice big new file that's staring at us right here, but I'm actually going to suggest that you don't click on that to create your first HTML file. And the reason for that is if we come here and I click on new file, it's going to, you know, text files, so then you put in the file name and then, yeah, anyway, it's not the best way to do it, at least in my own opinion. I prefer just coming here and clicking on this new file icon. So this is in my sidebar, it's possible you don't see it. So if you don't have the sidebar, just click on the Explorer that's right here. And then you should see this, these little icons that come up. So the first one is our new file one. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna write index.html, just like this. And so right there, and just to zoom in, if you want to zoom in a bit, you can just do a control plus, or if you're on a Mac, it would be control plus. You can also zoom back out with a control minus or a command minus. So we have my index file that's right there. And with that done, I'm just gonna push enter and it creates that file for me. And then I can also come here and close that welcome screen because we definitely don't need to be in there anymore. So I'm just gonna go and take VS Code and make it a little bit bigger now. So it's taking up my full screen. You can size it however you want to size yours. And right here is where we will eventually get around to writing some HTML. Uh, but we're not gonna do that quite yet because we have one more thing that I'd like you to do, which is to bring in your assets. And that's really easy to do as well. There's a few different ways you could do this too. Uh, but what I'm actually gonna suggest is leave VS Code opened right here and then find the folder that you downloaded and you unzipped everything. And where those images are, I'm just gonna grab them here. I'm gonna drag them over and you can see there's a big copy plus sign on there. I'm just gonna drop it. And you will probably get a pop-up like this saying, do you wanna add the folder to your workspace or do you wanna copy the folder? And what you want to do is copy the folder to make sure those images are being copied over and they're all living within that root folder that we created a little bit earlier. So we can hit copy folder just like that. And now I have my images are living inside of this same place as well. So we can even go and take a look at each, uh, the two images that we have there for the version one that we're going to be doing and this SVG. And we'll talk more about that when we get around to adding the logo to our site.